Good morning everybody. Welcome to Julie's Roots and Shoots. My name is Julie and today we are going to be going off on just a bunch of little adventures. Got a lot of stuff on the to-do list today and first I thought we'd come out here and say hey to the chickens because I got to get them food and water before I leave for the day. Hi girls. Hi babies. Hi. Oh look at your dirty water huh? Yeah. Much better, huh? Much better. All right, we are in my car getting ready to head out to town, which if you live rural like we do, this is like a big all day event. So town is about 45 minutes away and I've got my to-do list, right? Yes, I've got a to-do list. Cause it's kind of some basic, we've got to do some grocery shopping and then a bunch of little stuff for my office. And I've decided I'm gonna go buy some plant starts at a nursery house. I believe I did a video at this greenhouse before and it is later in the season. So they might not have like a very good selection still. I'm not sure. Most people in my area have already planted out like a couple weeks ago. So we're gonna go see what they have. I decided that I just want to tend to growing things. If I don't, I think I'm just gonna be kind of, like honestly, kind of a little bit depressed and bored, and I'm probably gonna watch too much TV and not be outside enjoying the summer. And I just, I want to grow some stuff, no matter how far I get into the season, but I feel like I just need to take care of some growing things and, just have that that therapeutic space in my life and I just think it's all around gonna be something good so I'm not gonna buy like super long day varieties because I I don't know if we'll be here to the end of the summer but I definitely think I can grow like cherry tomatoes and stuff and at least be able to harvest some of that next month or so and maybe I'll pick up some basil so we can have like fresh caprese salad and um, you know, just things like that. So we're gonna go hit the store. I won't bring you along with me to all the other stores, but um, I will take you to the greenhouse. So, oh yeah, let's go. We just pulled into the greenhouse and I've done about four hours worth of errand running in town. So now we are in the next town over. Let's go grab a car and head inside.
back at the house. Sorry if you can hear the wind. I thought I'd go over all the plants that I got at the greenhouse with you guys. And I also picked some up from another store. They were on clearance. I got some Asiatic lilies for $2 each. And I'm not sure why they were uh, on clearance, but I picked them up. So they might have flowered or gotten a little crispy at some point, but $2 a piece. I thought that was a steal of a deal. So I'm gonna do a little bit of maybe like front of the house decorating because we just put in um, a little gravel section with some railroad ties in front of our house. So I've got to decorate that sometime in the near future. So I was thinking these lilies would be a good touch for that. All right, let's get into all of the nursery plants. I'm not even totally sure what all exactly I got, but I know I just got basil, peppers, and tomatoes. And that's about it, because I don't think I really wanted anything much else from the greenhouse. I'll start by saying that this tray was $40 and you know if you're only gonna buy like one tray of stuff that's not that bad but man i couldn't imagine spending hundreds of dollars on uh, seedlings when you can start them for so cheap on your own but um anyways got a 40 dollar tray of plants here and we'll start with basil since we got the basil in here i showed you guys this plant here and there's two plants in here that's a score this is half price really so this is actually called uh i think it's dolce fresca which i've never actually heard of this basil before so that's kind of fun it smells just delicious so it should be good and then the other basil i got was nufar uh which <laughs> when i picked up this plant I chose this one specifically because I think the nursery does the first pinch, but then these were also pinched up here at the top. So this plant has a total of three pinches so far, which is gonna make a really bushy, beautiful plant. So that was, I mean, it kind of looks ugly and people would be like, oh, why would you want that? Somebody you know, took the tops off. This is actually gonna produce more basil than if it had not, so got that. We'll do peppers next. I think I only got a couple packs. So I've got some regular California Wonders, which are basic bee bell peppers. And then I picked up some Anaheims. And a couple of these have two plants per cell so instead of a four pack this is actually a six pack so that was pretty sweet and this is my last tray of peppers i got a little four pack here of serranos i just really like serranos better than jalapenos so got a wonderful little four pack here and these plants all look just amazing really lush and bushy i mean i think they're gonna do spectacular for tomatoes, let's see. So <laughs> I picked up the Sunny Boy, which is fun. I've never grown this one before, but it looks like this is probably a medium fruit and I intentionally picked some with these flowers on it. So hopefully I can get a bit of a head start, but I am gonna prune probably up to here and bury these deep. Got another four pack of Super Fantastic. So they better be super fantastic. Never grown these ones either. Another four pack was a heirloom assortment. So there's one variety of each in here. Got Mortgage Elifter, Hillbilly, Green Zebra, and Goldie. I just got eaten alive by mosquitoes and I am livid right now. I am livid. Okay, where were we? Um, heirloom assortment. And we got another assortment here. These are cherries. So we've got Italian ice, pink bumblebee, chocolate cherry, and sun sugar. So I'm actually pretty excited about these cherry tomatoes. 
Oh, no, I got two in here. So I actually got five cherry tomato plants. Coming down to the last three, I got another sun sugar, right? Yeah, so I got another bigger sun sugar. That's okay. A classic Cherokee purple. And then another sun sugar. Wow, I better like sun sugar. <laughs> so um, it's, that's it. That's all I got this year, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And I can't wait to see you guys really soon on the next video. Bye.